In all the universe, the only power beyond the mind's comprehension is the power to comprehend the power of the mind. If any one of us could unlock this terrible power, would we use it to explore the mysteries of the infinite, or would we use it to destroy? Yes! Yes! Tremble, Earthlings! Tremble before the might of General Skuldati! but he brings a refreshingly childlike glee to his work. Yeah, Max. It's hard to stay mad at the guy. Witness Sam and Max. Unstoppable dreadnought. Space gorilla pitted against a canine detective and a sociopathic bunny with psychic powers. But, my friends, this story is different. In this story, you are in control. Only you can release our heroes from General Skunkape's bizarre space zoo. Only you can guide them in their quest to bring the villain to space justice. Are you ready? Let's begin by finding the proper tool. If I could just reach my gun, we could administer an old-school freelance police-style beatdown to that guy. I can't wait to get my stinking paws on that damn dirty ape! Simmer down, Max. Check out Stinky's cell phone. We're gonna need that and your creepy new brain powers to get out of this cage. Inside the dankest recesses of Max's mind, where you can attempt to control his horrible psychic abilities, unlocked by the toys of power. Well done, my friend. Now select a phone number that Max has memorized to teleport himself and his furry longtime companion to that location. And also Sam. Speaking to you telepathically. No one else can hear me, Sam and Max. I can. Shut up. Your Earth weapons will never be enough to defeat General Skunkape. Don't you still have that homing beacon? Skunkape's penal zone prisoner's badge with built-in homing beacon. Perfect! Now, you must place the homing beacon on General Skunkape's back to trap him in the penal zone! Hmm? What's that? Did you really believe it would be that easy? Kinda, yeah. 
We're gonna need some kind of cover to get up close and personal with Skunk Ape. Max, remember that you have been blessed with the gift. You must unlock your abilities with the remaining toys of power. Behold! Uh, hang on. Uh, there we go. It's a lump of rhinoplasty, the wacky modeling clay that promises hours of fun. And delivers about five to ten minutes worth. Max, the rhinoplasty will grant you the incredible power of shape-shifting. You can use the rhinoplasty to pick up a picture of any inanimate object. Then, use the power of your mind to transform into that object. It's fun! Try to look leafy and inconspicuous, Max. I always do. Well done, Freelance Police. Now, you must get that homing beacon onto General Skunkape before he reaches the Bronx, or all will be lost! Love what you've done with the place, my queen. Now what? Now we just used the remote control Mama Bosco gave us, and Skunk Ape gets sucked right in the penal zone, so to speak. This remote control can open a gateway to the penal zone. to stop me. What do we do now, Sam? I don't know. With all the flashing lights and panels up here, there must be something that can help. How are we supposed to get up there? The door's locked. Hmm. I can't open the doors now, but I have an idea. Before he was imprisoned, your friend, the Mole Man, was screaming something about taking over the ship. Find out what he knows. another one of the toys of power. It's an ordinary deck of playing cards. Or is it? Max, the playing cards have granted you the power to thrust your consciousness into the fleshy minds of others and pluck out their most intimate thoughts. Ew. Only you can take something as beautiful and natural as telepathy and make it sound wrong. Break you, Harry. Your name is Harry Moon. 
serial number is 2483562. Your cell number is 2255584865. Favorite color is taupe. You'll have an infection of the Lord. Okay, that's enough of that. Hey, Sam, I got Harry Moman's phone number. Nice work, little buddy. Make sure you wait three days to call, or he'll think you're desperate. Excellent, Max. That phone number might be enough, because General Skunkape locked the Mole Man's cell phone and other belongings inside this container. Friends, you have just participated in a troubling vision of the future, the first of many such disturbing revelations. Over the next five chapters, you will witness things that baffle you, horrify you, even disgust you. But you must not look away. Pay close attention to everything that you see and hear. Because when our story reaches its bowel-tingling climax, only you, my friends, will possess the ability to save the entire universe. This haunted toy I found just gave me an uncanny vision of our violent future! I know, I saw it too, somehow. Did your version have credits? It had a spaceship, a friendly alien brain in a jar, and an evil space gorilla trying to destroy the city. What could it all mean?
creatures of Earth, I am General Skunkape. Hear my words. I have come to you with a message of peace and love. Eh, sorry about that building. it all mean? It means we've got to find a way on board that spaceship, Max. My friends, you seem a bit confused. But there's no cause for alarm. We've merely let the story get ahead of itself. Let's take a brief journey back to properly set the scene. Our story begins 25 minutes ago on a street very much like this one. This is Sam and Max, Freelance Police, Mobile Division. Hello, Commissioner. No, we're not in the office. We're locked out of our building. Wasn't my fault this time! Treacherous crack in the street and those pansies from City Hall shut down the whole block! What's that, Commissioner? A sudden wave of lawfulness and goodwill spreading through the city? Well, we didn't have anything to do with that. There aren't any crimes for us to solve? Okay, then. We'll be on the lookout for anything suspicious. The brain is dying. I'll have to call you back, Commissioner. Max has psychic powers now, apparently. That should bring us all up to speed. Now, where were we? Something about a spaceship. Hmm, what could it all mean? It means we've got to find a way on board that spaceship, Max. 